Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I would like to remind you all to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video at any given point in time. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so after the last part, I'm gonna do a somewhat time skip. So like Naruto 16, but here's what happened in between that time. They ended up finding out what Choji did Choji leaked Naruto's shield and his abilities to basically anybody that would listen or consider his words to be actually true. And when they ended up getting a report, some people ended up getting reports about Naruto or like images or people actually vouching for what Choji was saying. More people started wanting the shield. Haruzen seeing this come in the weeks like after Choji's death. Um, For the record, I don't hate choji i don't hate anyone specifically in naruto i do have some animosity toward everyone in naruto though if that makes some sense i'm not explaining that it's weird anyway um yeah so haruzen seeing that he kind of he you know he ex like he basically tells naruto that he can't leave the village and be seen by anybody for a long time basically three years some would say naruto was 13 so he's 16 now when he's just now re-entering the world quotation marks um during this time gara did get appointed the uh the uh sand village hokage but the problem with it was right after naruto got released the reason why naruto got released was to go get gara so basically they walked like naruto got sent a message and got told to go save garo with his old squad so he met up with um sasuke hinata and kakashi and they were they got up and started heading out toward you know the sand village the last place they saw no uh, people saw garo alive or you know currently defending anyway so when they get there they see like clearly there was a big old fight and some explosions and they end up following like this little end up following like this somewhat decent chakra you know um and hinata was able to pick up on the end of following a chakra a chakra trail let me just call it that anyway so um when they when they find i'm gonna say sasori and datara trying to extract the one tails from um gara naruto using his um abilities or speed and strength they uh he broke the i'm gonna say like the uh stuff holding him down gara down and basically breaking the uh this is like the seal stuff that they had going on because the seal stuff was in the things that was holding them. It was like a weird concrete based mixture, whatever, to keep. Yeah. Anyway, so um after that they ended up fighting. And I was saying there was a a, a stronger person there. I'm not gonna uh I'm gonna say it was like two, two of the pains, and the it was the one that summons stuff and the one that like shoots missiles and shit so it was a decent fight and yeah so they know of pains of, like of, like they know of the two pains and they know of like the akatsuki now so at like toward the beginning uh of their fight pain references nara like pain says something about naruto's shield and it kind of throws him off because Pain tells him like there's no other like we've been looking there's no other metal like that on on this planet like there's no anywhere like there's nothing like that shield here so after they're done here they want to take it and you know clearly this fight did not pan out as well as they thought it was naruto after a few i'm gonna say like a few rounds he ended up seeing i'm gonna say uh K not kakashi but Sasuke ended up getting tripped up by trying to save Hinata because Hinata ended up running out of chakra. Natural thing, anyway. Um, yeah, so Hinata ends up, ends up running out of chakra. Sasuke ends up trying to save Hinata and ends up getting hit by one of the missiles. Not injuring him, but injuring him enough. Well, not it injured him, but not enough to kill him, but it was enough to incapacitate him, which given naruto's like naruto what i mean to tell you he didn't get to see anybody it wasn't like a sick form of like imprisonment but it was like that's what naruto saw it as like because he had the shield he got in prison because the world was just too greedy you know that's what naruto sees it as so 
in Naruto's mind, he basically got put in complete isolation because of people like this. So when he sees Sasuke, not like when he sees Hinata pulling, trying to like get Sasuke away from pain, um, uh, like he's like something in Naruto, like in like snaps and he disappears from sight. And Sasuke, which, which was the person that he was currently fighting at the time, was like, where'd he go? And before he could even like do or say anything, he turns around and he sees like the pain that shot Sasuke with the missiles is like completely cut in half like down the middle like long ways like from the head down to like you know so like naruto like after the pain like the two parts of the pain falls naruto starts talking and it's in like a rough tone like as if the nine tails was talking and for a few moments you really couldn't sense nothing until naruto was directly in front of your face and when i mean he was in front of your face i mean that in every like at like every every i mean that anyway so naruto cuts the dude in half he disappears and he appears back in front of datara and he's like so you like you like fighting chinchurikis don't you and datara like at this point because you like when naruto is right next to you you can't you can sense the in, like the intent coming off of him so like datara like he's somewhat he's speechless but not really so like he tries to like he like start trying to make a bomb and naruto was like barely moving he ends up cut like he cuts off Daedra's arms and Daedra like he starts screaming and Sasori was like oh shit I gotta get out of here and Kakashi was like I don't know where you're going I don't know what he's doing you you can't go anywhere and he like Sasori ends up pulling out his ultimate puppet aka him I'm assuming I, I can't remember Sasori's you know Sasori was one of my favorite characters no shit I, I promise you I fucking loved him I just don't know why I stopped liking him. Pause. That sounded weird. All of that entire. Yeah. Anyway. Back to the. Yeah. So. Naruto ends up killing Daedara. Because he has no arms. He really wouldn't be useful. Anyway. Uh, Hinata ended up seeing like what. Like what happened to Naruto. And Hinata thinks of like. You know. It could have just been the leaf village. Like they could have did something to him. While he was you know. Away. But technically speaking, when you're put in complete isolation with no one but yourself for several, like if for short periods of time, that's fine. But literally like by yourself for years, that's not OK. So Naruto, without d meaning to do it, kind of drove himself crazy. Well, they they kind of drove himself crazy. Like, yeah. Anyway. um, So after well, to a certain to a certain point after, um. Data dies, the other pain, the one that summons the animals, she like she sees like the like the clear, clear disadvantage that she has now because Naruto is not transformed into the nine tails. He's just using the like the the strength from his self and the nine tails. And since Naruto doesn't necessarily have a lot of ranged abilities, when you think about it, his movements are kind of accurate. He doesn't use a lot of ranged abilities, so he always has to be in your face making him have to be strong and and fast anyway um so they just flew a jet over my house i might have to pause again but um as the the one that summoned as the summon as the one that is summoning tries to get away she like it sees that data report like is using his like basically his last resort and naruto sees the other pain getting away but Naruto would technically have to, it would take longer for him to get the pain because the pain's all the way in the air. It's using the bird. It's like literally probably a few thousand feet in the air by now, like as Naruto was thinking about it. But as he looks down, he sees Sasori is currently trying to get away and he can't allow that to happen. So like Naruto, he like he, he, what pain sees is Naruto lift up his foot and disappear from sight that's exactly what pain saw he wouldn't like eyes and all he he saw naruto get up and disappear and reappear in front of sasori no shit and like it's not like when he reappears in front of sasori sasori ends up like getting like jumping away and it's basically like a somewhat horror scene for like the like the last few minutes of the fight because at this point Kakashi stops because there's not really a point for him to be fighting anymore. Any anybody else but Naruto at this point it would be considered bullying. So 
like as Sasori is trying to get away from Naruto, all they see, like all Sasori sees, is like Naruto basically appearing from one spot to the next. Like everywhere Sasori goes, Naruto is if he's not like right there when Sasori gets there, he's like a few seconds there before he even gets there. Like Naruto is literally playing with him. So as the uh as the like the animal path tries to come back to save Sasori, you know, just to see what Naruto would do he like almost immediately changes like the pain almost immediately changes his mind after he realizes that naruto never necessarily stopped locking eyes with pain like the further pain got he thought naruto stopped looking at him no naruto never stopped he was he was he was mind he was basically bullying sasori while mind raping pain at the same time it was funny anyway um yeah so like he sees this and he's like nah i'm good and he like he flies away and Sasori was like, wait, like, why aren't you coming back? I, I, I saw you come back and you're leaving again. <laughs> like, um, you're going to leave me here to die. And Naruto, like, after, like, so, like Sasori is going through these, like, these thoughts in his head. And he says, like, wait out loud. And he's like, you're going to, you're just going to leave me here to die. And like Naruto appears behind Sasori and like he grabs him. Like, so Sasori now at this point can't go anywhere. So... I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but y'all, I think I am. So, like, when Naruto catches him, he tells him, like, there's no more running, but you made your choices. You chose to run with him or them. And this is what happens. And you just have to live with that. And, like, he basically just, like, he destroys Sasori because technically speaking, look, he killed Sasori. I'm not even going to go into that because I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Anyway, um, after uh, Naruto kills Sasori, they end up going back to the Leaf Village and they find out like there's more um, people trying like there's more of this like Jinchurikis going up missing. And uh, basically, Haruzen tells Naruto that he might have to go back into hiding. And Naruto looks at him like, are you crazy? I'm not going back. I'm not going back to where I was out to where I was just at. No, I'm going to just have this bounty on my head. And like Haruzen tells Naruto, like you've been in isolation for how long? Naruto, you might not even be strong enough. And Kakashi looks Haruzen in the eyes and he tells him, you haven't seen what I just saw. And like as like Naruto is talking like. Oh fuck! See there, I go again. Um, as Kakashi is telling this, like is telling Haruzen what happened. Haruzen is just sitting there, and he's like, "What have you been doing in that room for like three years?" And Naruto was like, "I'd rather not talk about it, cause it had nothing to do with y'all." And like he leaves the Hokage's office, and Haruzen, like in the back of his mind, he's thinking, "Was it really okay to leave Naruto?" inside of that place for three whole years and this is where i'm in this part off if y'all enjoyed the video drop a like if you enjoy my content please subscribe anyway this has been shinobi